Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Thank you for tuning into this channel. If this is your first time on this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. They call me Mommy Shark. Yes, Mommy Shark as in Mommy Shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> on this channel, I talk about everything, faith, business, raising godly children, especially abroad. I talk about fashion, business, career and all of that good stuff. Um, join my community on Instagram at the underscore mommy shark. I'm going to link it down below so it's be easy for you to locate us and you join in the fun. And today I'll be speaking about a very much asked topic of mine. So a lot of people have reached out to me wanting to go into content creation. Oh mommy shark, what do you think? What do you have to say? And uh so I'll just be dropping my two cents for those that want to go into content creation. So this topic is going to cover almost everybody, you know. So now everybody go jump big fast. <laughs> So this video is for both the content creators, for the audience and also how to manage or how to cope with um, unsupportive family and friends. So stay tuned. So today I'll be covering three topics. Let me start with the third one. The third topic is how to handle unsupportive family and friends in your business in your career in your hustle in anything you do now the second one is for the audience if you follow anybody say you have anyone that you enjoy their content say on instagram on youtube or on any platform and the very first one which is the main aim of this video is what to know before you become a content creator or if you're already a content creator some things you should know or some things you should remind yourself because trust me no one knows it all we keep learning every single day you know i had answered some people in the dm but what prompted me to make this video was because of a particular youtuber that i saw youtube just randomly suggested a uh, um video to me and in the video she was crying she spoke about how tired she was with content creation how she wanted to give up and just leave social media just close everything and all those things and at that moment i could kind of imagine what she was i understood what she was going through because it's very relatable so now let me start with um content creators now either you are a creator already or you want to be a creator number one thing i'll say is um i know they advise people to have a niche but what i would say is just do what you want to do don't feel pressured just go with the flow and the most important thing is before you start anything you need to pray you need god to direct you ask god for his help Father, I cannot do this alone. I want you to direct me. I don't want to look like a fool out there just doing anything. I want you to direct my steps. I want you to tell me and teach me what to do. Don't worry. You don't have to get it all at once. You learn on the go. So also your purpose of going into content creation. What is your purpose of going into content creation? You need to ask yourself. You need to define your goals. If your um, intentions are say oh okay i want to start content creation so that i'll become an influencer so i'll make money <laughs> it's where the premium tier so i'm telling you your purpose ask yourself what do i really want to achieve on this channel what do i really want to do do i really want to create more awareness on this topic on that topic what are my intentions is it because i want to make money is it because i want to help people i want to reach out to people so you need to define your goals clearly so what i'll just say is have a clear purpose what do i want to do what do I enjoy doing? So I always tell people that enjoy what you do. Do what you enjoy. Now, if you know that this is one content, one niche that will bring followers. So people will, you know, you know, if you live in the UK, you know what I'm talking about. There are certain contents that attract um, lots of followers and audience. But ask yourself, is that really what you want to do? Is that really what you're about? Is it about the quantity or the quality for you? Ask yourself, have your clear goals. For me, why I do what I do is I want to reach out to other moms. I want to make them know that, okay, you are not alone in this topic of raising children. You are not alone in this topic of parenting abroad. You are not alone in this topic of mom fashion. We know the insecurities that come with having children and all those things and all of that topics like that. So I just enjoy what I'm doing. If it brings money, fine. If it doesn't bring money, fine. People who have been following me for long can testify to the fact that I've always given the same energy to my 
channel to my platform and everything from the beginning till now so it's not because oh now she's getting endorsement she's getting brand deals oh now she's serious no i just go with the flow with how i feel i don't feel pressured so i'll say it's you know it's one important thing do what you can don't really force yourself to do anything whatever is convenient for you and now if you want to do it's okay to do content that your audience wants but the moment you are doing content because this is what people want you will get tired if for example oh people ask you to do this content and you do it and say you're getting like 20 likes you not start feeling bad that oh but they requested for this topic they asked me to do this content so why are they not liking it why are they not sharing why are they not commenting why are they not saving so you need to get to a point you need to have the mindset that your engagement on instagram doesn't define you yes it doesn't define you sometimes you can have 1000 likes sometimes you can have over 1000 sometimes 500 sometimes 100 sometimes 50 sometimes 20 and even sometimes 5 it doesn't really matter now let's come to the topic of trolls yes so one thing you should know is that you would have trolls one way or the other either at some point either when you are small or when you are growing or when you are big that's just one thing but one thing i've realized personally is that as your page grows the higher the higher the chances of getting those kind of people don't take trolls too personal i know sometimes it can be really hurtful when someone just drops a mean comment someone that doesn't even know you but some people are very bitter they don't have love in their hearts so how do you expect them to give you something they don't have you see so i know sometimes it's okay to reply these trolls sometimes but sometimes also just ignore them you know what they say silence is the best answer for a fool you know and also look at it also have sympathy on them because they might be going through terrible situations in their lives and they are angry that why is this person happy why is this person creating happy content and she's just there doing this and they they are there wallowing in pain and all those things I can tell you what to do. It's okay to reply them sometimes. Sometimes just block and move on. Sometimes just ignore. Sometimes just laugh over it. And um, for my community, it's a community of nice people, respectful people. We all respect each other. We correct each other with love and everything. But I noticed that as my page grew, once in a while, you just get someone that will just come and drop one comment any year, like someone that is senseless. <laughs> but then you know, it's one of those things like that. So. Have it in mind that you do not want your community or your page to be like, say, Insta blog, where people just come and talk anyhow and they just feel okay, can just talk anyhow. No, don't do that. So you have to set the rules from the start. You have to, you yourself, you have to start with yourself. Be respectful to people. Be polite to people. This brings me to the next point of being yourself. Be your authentic self. You do not have to paint yourself in a certain kind of way because you want your audience to like you because you know what they say that character or behavior is like smoke no matter how you cover it it's still going to find a way to escape so just be yourself the people that will like you will like you the people that won't like you will like won't like you and come to think of it are you jollof rice not everybody will like you even jollof rice some people still don't like jollof rice so mm, even our lord jesus christ not everyone likes him. People still criticize him. So who are you? Who am I? <laughs> so just know that it's normal. Don't take it too personal. You know, you will attract some people. You will irritate some people. It's a very normal thing. And that's fine. Just do good. Be good. Be yourself. Be yourself. So your people know that, okay, this person, oh, this is the way she is. Like for me, in my community, people know I'm very polite, I'm respectful, I'm kind, I'm all. But I do not take nonsense, it's buzz, buzz. For every buzz, there is a buzz, respectfully. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I did not have to say, oh, because I preach about God, because I preach about the things of God, I don't want people to see, oh, how will a Christian be getting angry? No, if you do any how you collect, that doesn't stop me from being a Christian I'm still a Christian tomorrow I'll still come and talk about the topic I want to talk about life goes on and a very very sensitive and important topic is starting a fire do not let hmm, this thing it's a very common thing and you know as content creators a lot of things a lot of things happens in the background and people don't really know your audience would know except you speak out now be very very careful do not let your audience create enmity between you and another content creator say someone that you do something similar 
when people start sending oh see what she's doing she's copying you she's this she's that the moment you start to feed on those things you start having resentment towards that person instead when people are doing all those things it might be rude of you to say oh please stop sending me this but it's okay you can also say oh that's fine i don't really care or just when they send such things the best way to silence them is maybe just put a sticker or just maybe like to comment and just move on don't comment don't say anything because what you feed is what will grow the moment you start engaging in such things you start having resentment that person start annoying you you start feeling the kind of hate and even when that person does things innocently you will just feel the person is out to get you and it's just about you and you and you and you so do not let people set a fire between you and someone else instead there is nothing wrong you know um support the person engage with the person do this one and if you feel that okay this person is obviously out for you obviously out for you instead of having resentment towards someone seriously there is nothing wrong feel free to block unfollow mute or do whatever you do for your peace of mind for your sanity but you should never get to a place where you grow bitterness towards somebody it's not a good thing and if you feel that someone has done something to you a fellow content creator send the person a message reach out to the person oh hi uh, i trust you're doing fine um let's talk to you about something you did something that it came off to me as this i feel blah 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 this is how it made me feel give the person to a chance to also explain themselves and you will see that most times even this thing that we're even talking about it's not even something serious it's not something it's not that deep like i always say life is not that deep but we humans just try to make an issue out of everything but it's not that serious so yes just be good live good and be happy times it happens in life that people get similar inspirations like if you follow me on instagram you will know the story so there's one of my community members her name is ada um she she made um a video on how to make garden egg sauce and she posted it that evening and you know what the previous day i had made a content for that but i saved it in my real drafts I was going to post it that same evening and I posted mine, you know, and what a coincidence at all. But instead of saying, oh, I was going to post that or she'll say, oh, she, this blah, 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 you know, I still commented, oh, that's nice, you know, uh, that I even planned to make something like this. That Another time I made a video for YouTube talking about credit score. It was already on my channel, but it was on private, not live yet. And she also posted the same thing at all. So you look, so it's like, oh, are these people copying themselves? No, it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes people get inspiration, similar inspirations. And you know, that's the spice of life. Even when you have the same inspirations, the way you convey it, it won't be the same thing because yeah, you know, and that's why variety is the spice of life. So. It's not that. So to the last point is, as a content creator, it's okay to have, in, it's okay to have another content creator that you say you like a content, you like what she does, and all. Oh, but it's not okay when you dwell so much on what she's doing. Oh, this is the way this person posted this thing. This is the way she writes a uh, caption. This. It's okay to be influenced. It's okay to be inspired by someone. But if you dwell so much on that, you become so consumed. With the person that is to be like mm, there's i say this all the time be you be authentic there's only one you in this world you are unique for you the way you do things are beautiful the way you do things equally unique at all then moving on to our dear audience our sweet sweet loving audience please I want to ask you a question. They did not beg you to follow someone. They did not beg you to subscribe to someone's channel. No one asks you to do this. But some people will just be viewing people's posts and not engage. Yes, you are free to engage on any post you want to engage. You you don't owe anybody engagement. But please, I'm begging you on behalf of content creators in the world. <laughs> you know one thing is that either you engage or not, the insight will always show the number of accounts that the post reach is might be say 20,000 people it's reached but only 100 people are actually reacting yes actually people don't owe anybody engagement they are free to like or comment on whatever pursuits them it's not 
a must it's not by force but please if you like someone's content don't just walk up past don't just scroll engage on their content this is just to encourage them to know that okay yes we see you we like what you're doing and oh please 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 don't start a fire don't start a fight between content creators if you feel like one person is doing something that's you know might offend the other person you might reach out to one to you might reach out to the person that you notice it or just ignore you what will you gain from sending something from this person to this person and this person to this person it's not really fair when you go to this person you're saying things about this person and you still go to that person again trying to set them against each other and you just enjoy the drama going on it's really not fair i've actually seen this happen between content creators and People will just realize that, oh, they used to be Insta bodies, but all of a sudden, they don't even talk to each other anymore, you know? So, please, let's not do this. This is not fair. So, feel free to give constructive criticism to a creator you are following. For example, if you see a creator that does content on, say, wigs, for example, and she takes an iron and she irons the wig and she's just showing you that, oh, how she straightens the wig. You know that, okay, it's not okay to... You feel, and you feel, oh, it's not right to straighten a wig with iron. Instead of saying, oh, how would you be doing that? What is the meaning of this? This is just nonsense. Or you have to put to buy a straightener or something. You could even be nice. Put yourself in their, you know, put yourself in their shoes. Say, you can say things like, oh, nice concepts of straightening your wig with an iron. Um, I think it would be nicer if you use a straightener. You know, something better you are acknowledging their effort at the same time you are also putting in your opinion also if you don't have something nice to say just move you don't have to say anything you know so instead of saying something bad not say and don't say anything and even when you must say something be constructive with your feedback you have to be careful you have to be considerate don't let me use the word careful you have to be considerate not to hurt someone else's feelings because creators have feelings too the audience have feelings too you know and also creators when someone gives you a feedback do not take it to heart do not take it personal be open to feedbacks be open to ideas because you don't know it all what i always say to people is that have an open heart because when you have an open heart you'll be open to different ideas and you know that it's not just about you it's not just about what you know because people will always People have different opinions and you're trying to push your own on them. So be open to different opinions too. Lastly, how to cope with family and friends that don't support your business, your career, your hustle. Now, what I would say is nobody owes you loyalty. The fact that you're loyal to people doesn't mean they'll be loyal to you. It's up to them. And now, you shouldn't be loyal to someone because you want them to be loyal to you. Be loyal to people because, okay... This is who I am. I'm a good person. Um, you know, this is who I am. This is just me. Don't take it personal. Actually, I don't know why it's like that, but it's just normal. A stranger will support you more than people you know. It's not because people you know don't love you. It's not because they are hating on you, but see finish. There's this law of see finish. And sometimes we have that family and friends that are always hype us regardless. Personally, if I know you, if I'm following you and I see your content, you're someone that I know personally, I will definitely engage. I'll be engaging, I'll be commenting, I'll be liking, I'll be putting, giving in my feedback. It doesn't matter if you engage on my post or not. I'm not engaging on your post because I want you to engage on my post. I'm doing that because this is my own way of supporting you, of, you know, doing things like that. Sometimes, People who know you might not want to engage on your post because they are being careful. I didn't understand this until it happened to me. There's someone I know that this person doesn't really engage on my post. But when I see her post, I comment, I like, I'm there hyping, you know, just, just supporting. I didn't say, oh, after all, she doesn't engage on my post. So let me also return the energy. No, I still engaged. And I remember once that I dropped a comment and she took the comments personal. And I didn't realize it until like months after where something happened and we had to talk about it and all. And I was actually very shocked, like, oh, an innocent thing. The truth is that if it was coming from a total stranger, it wouldn't have that much meaning. But because this is, okay, this is someone that I know, like, you know that I said about sea finish, it doesn't make people bad, it doesn't do anything, but it's just a normal thing with life. <laughs> so sometimes when people you know don't really engage, they are just being careful. Personally, what I would do now is, if it's someone I know personally one-on-one, -on -one, depending on the relationship, the highest I can do is like, maybe share. But when it comes to things like dropping comments, I'll be extra, extra careful. I want to drop comments if only 
it's necessary if only it's needed don't label people as haters so you're not supporting me such an hater i'll be such a hater no they're not haters they are just you know it's just one of those things and when it comes to business too know that your aim is to sell to people that don't know you a wider audience it would be unfair of you to put that kind of expectations on your family and friends what you sell might be too expensive for them it might be this it might not even be what they want so People are very free to do anything they want to do. Let's not have that sense of entitlement that, oh, how will she patronize me? How will she support me? How is she not engaging with me? No, let's strip yourself of every sense of entitlement and whatever thing comes, take it with a open heart, with happiness, with joy. Oh, good one. Mm, you know, life goes on. So the very last point is this issue of um, scratch my back, I scratch your own. You know, there are sometimes that some followers will just come and they want you to do things for them. Oh, help me post this, help me post that. In fact, I've had some <laughs> recently, I shared this on the community where someone just came and said, hey, I need you to post this for me. Like, this is someone that I've never seen her engage. She's following me. She doesn't. So now you don't support what I do or you want me to support you. Uh -uh. I'm not having expectations from you. So why should you have expectations from me? I've seen other content creators complain about this thing. So I just think it's not fair. People are not forcing you to engage on their post and you shouldn't also have expectations from them. As a content creator, please understand that you can't be there for everybody. I tried it one time and I almost burnt out. <laughs> like the burnout was real because mm -mm. sometimes it gets so overwhelming. People dumping their issues on you and you try to provide solutions. One thing I do is I go off, I take loads of social media breaks. Whenever I feel tensed or overwhelmed or I'm busy with life, trying to handle, trying to juggle a lot of things, I just go offline. I go offline for two weeks, for one month and all that. Social media will go on with or without you. So understand that. And don't make your life all about social media or growing your page or anything. So we've come to the end of this video. I hope you gain one or two things. Do like share comment if you want to two things and or if you have questions also follow our instagram page at the underscore mommy shack until next time thank you for watching guys bye